What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new episode of Homecoming Road to Brunei Powerlifting Nationals 2023. It's a Wednesday, we got deadlifts, but before that we have something to do because I'm flying off in the morning at 6.30 a.m. So this boy needs to be dropped off somewhere. So he's not gonna be in the vlog for a while. I'm gonna be spending Raya away from this boy. But that's okay, so I'm gonna... Let's get you in the bag and then we'll send you over. Say goodbye. <laughs> so we have dropped off Ruti at my friend's place. So he's gonna be under her care for the next like 10 days while I'm away. We're currently breaking our fast. This isn't what I usually eat, but just because I was short on groceries and I'm leaving tomorrow, I feel like there was there was no point in me buying any groceries and then being gone for the next 10 days. So this is what we're eating, this is what we're working with. And I just uploaded the last vlog and I got copyrighted. But you know what, it's whatever, it's fine. So we need to down this, finish it before the cereal gets soggy. And then we are going to head over to the gym for deadlifts. Two sets of three at an RP8 and then a three by three at an RP6 to seven. I'm probably gonna stick to that RPE6 range just because I know it's gonna be hectic. Um, like later, I'm probably barely gonna get any sleep. But even after my flight tomorrow, I still have to train, we do have bench. And then we have Raya this weekend. So I'm prepping for, for a crazy, crazy, hectic, hectic end of the week. Shit, that's tasty. Okay, so y'all saw it. Uh, we have probably one of the biggest callus tears since I started powerlifting. Um, this is the specific callus that was giving me issues during Commonwealth. I've already texted Haley, and I want to look into switching back to hook grip because this callus has been problematic for quite a while now, since a few months before Commonwealth already. We basically scrapped the entire session because I, like that, I was still warming up, man. I was still warming up. 170 for a triple was supposed to be my last warm up because I was aiming for 180. The others were feeling pretty good uh, just now. So we were aiming 180, we, did, we loaded 170 as my last warm up, and then this happens and I'm like, oh man, 180 for a triple would have been tasty after um, after my subpar deadlift session last week but it was not meant to be and that's okay this shit happens in powerlifting but what this has done is it's made me even more motivated to put something together on the platform at nationals we're gonna see what we can do moving forward with my grip whether that be hook grip or kind of adjusting my current grip who knows I will have a conversation with Haley about that I, I gotta, I gotta get it cleaned up, uh, cause that's fucking nasty. We don't want to get it infected or anything. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna clean this up first, and then I'm gonna start packing, and then we have to catch a flight in like just over six hours.
to the Friday portion of this video, it has been already super, super hectic. Before last night, I only had two hours of sleep between Wednesday to Thursday, and I only slept at like 5 a.m. last night. So at, at this current point, I'm kind of caught up on sleep. We had our bench day yesterday. You guys will have seen that I did Larson presses for sets of five and did my accessories. And I wasn't supposed to have Larson presses, but because of the travel and basically being super busy, being back home and getting things done, like my lower back was not having it. I started warming up and it was like, yeah, every time I applied leg drive, I felt pain. So I was like, okay, I'll ma I'll, I made the call. Because obviously when I was training, Haley was asleep. So uh, I made the call to do Larson's instead. And that basically took my lower back out of the equation because whenever I applied leg drive, I would feel it like compress and get super tight and it was really uncomfortable. So yeah, we just had to substitute that. But anyways, today we have squats and bench. I am heading over to Iron Strong and I'm still not feeling the best like physically so um, I'm, I have to adjust my program again Haley knows about this so because of this entire incident on Wednesday I can't use my wraps like I can't pull them the way that I usually do so because I can't wear them if you didn't know I low bar squat and that requires my wrists to be kind of bent so I wear wraps to just make the lift feel more comfortable. And because I can't wrap up, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to high bar today rather than do nothing. And it's the same thing with my bench. My lower back still isn't feeling it. I woke up just now and I was like, whoa, that is not nice. So lower back not feeling it. We're gonna do Larson's again, just to be safe because we don't want to aggravate any injuries at this point in prep. Now, that's pretty much all I have to say. We can pretty much jump straight into this squat and bench session. has been super hectic of just visiting and visiting and visiting so we're absolutely gassed but we still need to train so it's a monday morning and we have a squat in store we have a single at an rp6 to 7 so we're gonna stick to the rp6 just because fatigue is running very very high right now not much to say i'm squatting with me this is either gonna be my last warm up or my top single out of the way this is 140 and then we will see where we go from there because after my single we have a 4x5 and an RP7.
that will be our top single. My hips are not having it from all the house visiting and like sitting down pretty much two days straight. I'm the type of person who, in order to have a, a good spot day, the days prior, I need to stay moving. It's not like I can't be just laying down in bed or you know staying in one spot because my body needs to be able to stay moving like my hips need to stay mobile so the last two days have been unideal but that's that's gonna happen at some phases in training so it's all right i'm not stressed about it i'll take a 140 single at an rp seven <laughs> so we're gonna move down to our back offs i think i'm gonna take 110 for my first set seeing how that top single moved so let's get straight into that So, because of how hectic Raya is, I'm gonna have to cut the session. I'm gonna have to cut the session short, and we're gonna have to leave after squatting, and we'll come back at night to do accessories. But I'm gonna end the vlog there. Yeah, I'll get my sleeves off first. We're gonna take my sleeves off. That'll do my job. So, sleeves are off, we're done with squats. Very, very uneventful video, except for like that, that first part when I was traveling with my sister. I'm gonna cap it off there. We are now six weeks out from Brunei Powerlifting Nationals. It's time to put out some good numbers, even though we had a very average squat session today. So, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hold up. Someone else wanted to say the, the, the closing line. You gotta do like the, the salute and everything. So how do I say it? Stay on the grind, keep grinding. <laughs>